I in this video I'm just gonna like take a video of this to like document it for myself. Um, if you can like subscribe, I don't mind. Uh, so basically, um, there's also also a video, so I'm also gonna explain what I'm doing. So basically, I'm distilling ethanol, yeah, ethanol, from this alcohol, yeah. So basically, right now I'm distilling this stuff. It is all of this alcohol is undrinkable because it's really old, unless it doesn't get old, but because the seals are all broken. So this stuff is 25 percent. This stuff is uh, 25 percent. This stuff is 37. This stuff is 25. Uh, this is 24. Sorry. And basically, I've only used 500 milliliters of this bottle. As you can see, there's still some left. And basically, that should give me 120 milliliters of alcohol. This stuff should give me a lot more, and I still have three bottles to go, plus a little bit. So this is my distillation apparatus. So Bunsen burner, heating it up. I don't have electric stove. Too much electricity cost. I have a big gas bottle. This should. And the stuff, this thing uses no gas. Basically, that gas bottle is empty, and yeah, the gas bottle is empty, but it, it has just enough pressure to power this Bunsen burner. And I have here is a one liter round bottom flask, boiling flask, I guess, um, two neck. And basically, I have my 500 milliliters of ethanol. I measured out 500 milliliters of ethanol because I'll know how much, uh, sorry, I measured 500 milliliters of alcohol to get a, a calculation of 120 milliliters of ethanol. Then this is the still here. As you can see, it's already condensing. The temperature is around 90. Normally ethanol boils at 78, but I think this is because it's mixed with water. This is a quick shot of it, the gas condensing. That was interesting. It actually ran across here. Huh. To so run down into the condenser. I've added an extra stream here so you can just have some extra time to cool down. So I put, I'm dropping it into a graduated cylinder to measure how much I get and look here, look how fast this is dripping. I've never seen any distillation as fast as this. Look at that. Look at that. It's mo it is mostly mixed with, not mostly, it's more ethanol than water until I reach my 120 mark which is around up here. Then I'll stop and pour that off. But this is really good because look here. If I take some here, since it drops a lot, I just click some, right, there we go, and just dab some on this rod, burn it, burn it, right, I think that's burning, wait, okay, hold on, I don't know, it's not burning yet, Now it's burning. You can barely see it. Pretty much burns invisible. Look at that. Barely. You can just see it. It's burning. So it is ethanol. And it's dripping extremely fast. I have done distillations already. I have made some fuming nitric acid. And I have made a, just like a drop of rosemary oil. Um, I won't make a video on the rosemary oil. But I might make a video later on if I do get... Um, more um, maybe roses or lavender oil but basically how I did that uh, they sent me this separatory this dropping funnel so not separatory funnel sorry or pressure equalizing funnel and but they never actually gave me the stopcock so it's practically useless you pour your liquid in and run straight down but then I find I can actually hook this up to here and put leaves fill this up with plant and then I can actually just still steam distillation the oil off so I found a use for that and my nitric acid, I will make a video on when I get some more potassium nitrate. I have already done, I should have, I just forgot to make the proper video, video quality as I wanted to do. So like I never explained it well and I kind of got sidetracked. But basically this is the fuming nitric acid here, yeah, this is how much I got. Alright, this will be the end of this video and I showed you it burn, I showed you how much I'm getting, it's really quick. Obviously after all this alcohol, I'm going to redistill it at least twice to make sure I'm getting at least roughly 90% alcohol. And or ethanol, sorry. So if I called it alcohol instead of ethanol, sorry, it's just, you just get mixed up by the term. Also, I just want to show this off. My dad made this for me. It's like so. I got a thick metal plate here, stainless, stainless rod. Uh, he, he kind of lathed it off the top here, but this, all these scratch marks, okay, wasn't his fault. It was actually the lathe's fault. The lathe is a really crap lathe. It just wobbles and everything. Um, anyway, and then I got another rod here. I found this adapter, and I can put a little pipe fitting here, and it clamps it really nicely. This, he also made me this, uh, it's a stand connected with the 
thing. I filled this up with some sand um, to heat the flask evenly because this flask is, you know, it's round. And anyway, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, it's not too detailed, but the nitric acid video will, will be really fun. I already got some clips of it burning a nitrile glove. This stuff is insane. Alright, see you next time.